to our forecast, a live look from our station here in Johnson out over northwest Arkansas. Let's check in with Matt now as we have some rain on the horizon. We do. We have some pushing in southern Oklahoma right now. It may arrive into the river valley closer to midnight tonight, but this afternoon and evening has been beautiful. The clouds are slowly increasing from the west. And if you notice off in the distance, it kind of looks hazy for some of us, especially in northwest Arkansas. We actually have a prescribed burn going on in Crawford County blowing in. We'll take a look at that in just a second. But most of us are sitting in the 60s and 70s. Clouds quickly moving in, though, from the west. I think we'll hold off for the rain for a little bit, but we do have that that prescribed burn at Shores Lake in northeastern Crawford County. And with these southeast to northwest winds, some of that smoke is blowing into Fayetteville and Springdale, Tawnytown. Nibella Vista as well, uh, but eventually that'll probably be put out. They're trying to do it before some of the rain comes in and the rain's just going to help put it out even later. But some of those showers and storms are moving in from the west. They'll be here later tonight, but overall I think they're going to be on the weak side. That forecast is coming up. New at six tonight, new information on the damage left behind from the EF3 tornado that tore through Springdale and Johnson back on March 30th. The Arkansas Department of Emergency Management says 164 homes were damaged by the storm. 57 of those are considered destroyed. On Friday, Governor Hutchinson announced an allocation of $100,000 in individual assistance available to homeowners impacted by the storm. Affected businesses will also have access to low interest loans from the Small Business Administration, which is still doing an assessment of the business's damage. Adam is waiting on this assessment to wrap up before it opens up a call center for those impacted by the tornado to call in and start applying for that individual assistance. A dog is rescued from a life-threatening situation at a LaFleur County Dam. A plea for help on Facebook caught the attention of Worcester volunteer firefighters who jumped into action to save the dog. 5 News reporter Katherine Gilker spoke to those firefighters who say there's a first time for everything. I'm here at the Lake Worcester Dam where a dog was stranded on a concrete flat behind me above the rushing waters. Thanks to some volunteer firefighters and the community, the dog was safely rescued and is now looking for a forever home. This is video of the dog being rescued. Worcester firefighter Aaron Capel is the one seen in the boat. He says once he and other firefighters heard what was going on, they knew they had to help. Definitely first. So. Uh, can't say we ever had anything quite like that one. Capel says they tied a rope to the front of the boat and the other firefighters stayed on land helping guide the boat to the dog and then back to safety. He says it was a team effort and they are happy they were able to help. And if that was my dog, I'd, you know, somewhere else I'd wish somebody would do the same for my dog. Uh, I guess it's just, it'd be a bad deal if he wasn't able to. Firefighter Joseph Roberts also helped in the rescue. He says they are still very curious how the dog got there and if it was on her own or someone put her there. Because it's fenced in up there and the dog would have to swim upstream to get to it. The dog was pretty frightened. The dog who has now been named Grace is safe and is doing well at the Poto Valley Humane Society. You know, people around here are good and they want to help. They just don't know how sometimes. And there it was staring them in the face and they chose to save her and she'll make someone a wonderful pet someday. Board President Rita McGailey believes Grace is a great Pyrenees mix and is between one and two years old. She has also recently been spayed. The dog was only one step away from being swept in water and drowned and no one would ever know. He might come up down at the end of the spillway and he would be dead. Grace is now up for adoption. Anyone interested in adopting her is asked to reach out to the Poto Valley Humane Society. In Worcester, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. All right, Katherine, thanks. The Poto Valley Humane Society says to speak up if you see an animal being abused. They say, unfortunately, every month they have at least one litter of puppies dumped on the side of the road. New tonight.